Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to uh, this is going to be the semifinals of the podcast. <laughs> Whatever it is. Guys, I just came from Dallas. You guys saw I was getting cooked. Getting spanked my, over there. He tried exactly. to rep, but uh, let us down. So my brain right. wasn't working. Alhamdulillah. All right, but first things first, reminder mission of our, our season, of our season this season was Gaza, Palestine, um, and what's going on over there. Um, I want to take a little bit of a, a change in our view. I've been saying donate this, this, and that. Make the, of course, keep those in your in your mind. But I just want to make sure. I just want you guys to remember in everything that you guys do, win, loss, whatever we're doing on the court. Just remember, there's something so much greater that's going on in the world. It's something that's so much greater, so much bigger, that we should really be caring about. So yeah, we we could love basketball. We love the competition. But at the end of the day, we're brothers, and we're all fighting for the same cause. We're all fighting for this mission. Please remember the people of Gaza and the people of Palestine. They're struggling way more than you and I ever will be. So don't forget them and don't let your emotions get the better of you. Keep your, your emotions with them and keep them intact, inshallah. So that was my little thing there. And we could hop into last Wednesday's games. Okay. So first game was? Gashiro versus Kalkhidia. All I'm saying is I voted for them. Wow, man. Do you remember when I yes, predicted? Yes, yes, I did. And I remember I predicted the other way. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. I'm really him, bro. So it was a great game. I remember game started off. You guys were down like 12 to 2. We were down 12 to 2 or 12 to 4. I gotta oh, no, let me tell you guys. I gotta remember everything. Let, let me, yo, well, it feels, I like, gotta, it feels, feels so like long ago. Yeah. Well, let me tell you guys what. Well, right we now. started off. I go into the huddle before the game starts, and I'm like, guys, like, the Ennises are a high pressing team. Like, they came out and blew us out last time. So let's just settle into the game. Give us like five minutes, six minutes. So we were like, we had this plan where we we're gonna set like a two screens for Shafiq, get Hobby off of him. Yes. And then like he could get downhill and kick. What did we do? We went down there. One pass, three. One pass, three. <laughs> one pass, three. It's in your DNA, and then, bro. Bucket, 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 bucket. Went twelve two. We called timeout and I still have my voice is not my voice is still lost from that game. Cause we were all screaming. I honestly thought you guys were gonna get very desperate and you guys were gonna fumble it bad. Going out, to, I thought you guys were gonna get desperate. I thought it, you were that's gonna That's usually screaming. the story. That's usually the yeah, story. Yeah, I thought it was, and then I thought someone was gonna come out and try to play hero ball, whether that was you, whether that was Nums, whether that was me. Shafiq does, doesn't do that, he doesn't know how to do that. Um I thought it was gonna get really bad really quick, but yeah. in Salman Khan from uh what what Gaza, in his own words he said since that twelve two mark, it was one way traffic. Since Salman, that. Bro, I'm taking that for Gaza. Oh, I'm thinking Salman. That's actually. Al-Khali. What's it called? He was is there Big Salman. I might be getting their name. I know, I know who you yeah. guys are talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, there is. The one that won. That's who I was thinking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but uh, yeah, basically what he said. It was 12 2. Salman and Yas. That's what I'm saying. Said you said it's wrong. Why did you say Salman? Yes, sorry. 12 2, and then basically we came out, and like, I'll be honest. I remember I made a layup, and then I remember Shafiq went on, like, a very solid run. Like, wow. he at least hit, like, two mid-ranges, maybe a layup. Shafiq went on, like, a 6-0 run, and at no, the same well, I've never time... never seen him hoop like that. And at the same time, bro, the Khalidia was turning the ball over, like, left and right. Like, we had, like, a span. Hassan probably remembers it clearer because he was, like, watching. But, like, it was, like, strip, uh, outlet, Amir Koyas. Then mm-hmm. strip, outlet, Amir Koyas. Strip, outlet, Amir Koyas. Like, three, four times. At the end of the game. No, no, at the start. Like, no one would pick it up. Just threw out. Yeah, Amir Koyas, 11 points, 9 of them were uh, outlet. Literally, we just threw it full court pass, mm-hmm. outlet, and he had a layup. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we forced Musa into some tough shots. He also wasn't hitting. 6 for 21, 1 for 10, 15 points, 6 rebounds. He also took a lot of long twos. Like, a lot of very long twos. Like, one step into the three-point line. And he was just coming down, pulling up. Uh, AK, 5 for 14, 11 points, 11 rebounds, 0 for 6 from 3. They just couldn't hit a 3 to save their lives, really. And uh, Jay was just kind of out of the game from the from the jump, to be honest. I don't, like, he took 10 shots. It didn't even feel like he took 10. And my, I felt like he literally took, like, 7 shots. So we... You guys played good defense. We played well I'm defensively. Like, the, but for the first time in uh, probably your careers. You we played well really defensively. They're, we played well defensively, but at the same time, like, they also just missed a lot of their shots. Probably credit to our defense. But I do feel like they were starting to force eventually once they felt like we started to get the hang. And then that's when we got a bunch of steals, and that's when the game kind of blew out. And then I think we ended the half up like nine, thirty-two twenty-three. 23 yeah. And I, not that like the whole second half was comfortable. It definitely wasn't. Like there was always a chance that Hotelia was going to come back. But we generally maintained like a six to 10, six to 12. The point gap was there. The, the gap was half. there. The gap was yeah, there. I don't know what it was. I think without a doubt, like, yeah, you, you, guys, played, you guys played. Uh, yeah, I watched most of the game. 
Um, uh, I was back and forth. It also uh, helps when we all shoot super efficient. Yeah. I mean, obviously, but like beyond you guys, you, I was watching. You guys definitely played great defense. They definitely sh- shot poorly and whatnot. But without a doubt, like you guys said, with the transition, the, the energy and the passion that Qalqilia usually comes with just wasn't there. And honestly, I was really shocked. I don't know why. And at a time like this in the season, at this point in the season, the passion just dwindled. I, I didn't. Know I think they thought they were gonna blow us out. Like, I think they went up 12-2, and they were like, all right, this is going to be the same thing as the first game. And, like, you know, we're just going to blow them out, and they kind of just took the foot off the gas. Because, bro, like, Amir Koyas literally was wide open on the other side of the court, like, four times. I, I, watched, also, I even, watched it a couple of times. He didn't even do much. Like, the, the three guys would be back in transition at, like, the half court before any of your teammates. And Amir just runs past them. And they just watch Another thing, believe. the full court press, like, I know it's, like, the Kalkalia Yanis special, but kind of, like, sets them up for failure if the guard gets by the one guy mm-hmm. because then it's like Jay, Musa, and AK have to collapse and then once they collapse, you know, it's just scramble defense at that point. And then when you scramble, nothing good happens. So we were, like, me and Shafiq did a good job of getting by the press. Also, Yahya was suspended, so that did make a big difference because I know him and Habi are, like, the two pressers. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, I shot 8 for 14, 16 points. Shafiq shot 6 for 13, 18 points. Uh, Amir Koya is 5 for 9, 11 points. And then... Mohamed Zubaydi didn't shoot great, but his layups were very impactful. He hit, like, two very big ones at the end to keep it, like, uh, pretty far. And he played great defense on Musa, and he had 10 rebounds. So, yeah, we all played good. Yeah. And, you uh, guys wanted a more... It's uh, like everybody sure. said, like, you know, it starts with me and Shafiq. We both played well. We yep. both shot over 50%, and yep. then the rest of the team followed. I'm not going to lie. Shafiq, that game, open. Best game of the season, Both him huh? and Shafiq. I, th- this is both their best games I've ever watched. I've seen Shafiq draw 40, but this is the best basketball. Yeah. That, that was the best game I've seen him play. That was the best I've seen him play. Honestly. I've seen him drop so much more, but to me, that was his best best basketball performance I've seen. Like against, Especially against that team. And when they needed it, they were down, too, when Shafiq was scoring. Mm-hmm. They were down when he was hitting the crazy shot. Oh, my God. Well, he was hitting crazy shot. Yeah, and you, too, he was... Shafiq, but I feel like... I'm just, <laughs> well, yeah, like, he hit him off the backboard, and I'm like this. Please, please. There was that one, <laughs> that one spin move fadeaway <laughs> shot, and the ball just sat at the rim for like two seconds. Bro, there was so many. There it's was one you got down. It literally went like this. It was like this? Yeah, that was, that was, that I was don't a couple. But, the, bro, that one, it sat on the rim, and I was just waiting for it to go and waiting for it going. I turned around, and I just see Amo, and I was like. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 you guys did well. It didn't look, it didn't look, it looked too bad out here, but. We'll, we'll say it's well. what I do, bro. That's what I do. Oh, bro, well, um, they, they, to come out and do this, bro. Yeah, I'm impressed. Very good impressive, good job by Abira, way to come out. And, Honestly, and, bro. And, and shine in the spotlight and, and do what you have to do to get the job done. And yeah. Kalkalia, hell of a season, you guys. I mean, I mean they're back to back champs. Well, not back to back champs, but Musa's back to back champ. Yeah. So, like, this is his first time losing in a while this early. <laughs> that must hurt extra. But, yeah, bro. Great season for those guys. Musa, J, AK. Uh, Habi, Ahmed, Smail, the whole Kareem, Muhammad, the whole squad. Trying to clap as best as I could. Yeah, I almost broke his hand. Whoa, 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 we're going to get to that. There's a reason pissed, why my team lost. He pissed so. me and Hassan off, and we just, like, dogged him. So, <laughs> All right, so. he, punched, he punched the locker room with frustration <laughs> after getting destroyed. I'll tell you why we lost when we get to my, my game. All right. All right. Nabis versus Romna. I mean, right. Ty Jackson versus Romna. Did any of you guys watch any of this? Yeah, I did. Um, I watched, like, five minutes. No, this game, this game was actually... So it started off like how you expect. Ramla started off with a nice, comfortable lead by like eight points, um, but it was really slow. It was really slow. So you could see the score, fifty-five, thirty-nine, um, the Shaz- final score. Shazab two for eight, six points. Yeah, he was starstruck. I think it Shaz- He was starstruck. He was starstruck. But um, yeah, it was it was really slow to start. Uh, Ramla goes up by like actually no. Nabdi started off with the lead. Mido Zabi came out and hit a couple beautiful. Uh, nothing but net mid range jumpers. Yep. So now he takes the lead, and then the magic the... dust ran out after that. Yeah, yeah very yeah, quickly, yeah. very quickly, the the, the bar just six, ended. Six points. Uh, Romla comes back, takes the lead, gets a comfortable lead, and towards the end of the half, uh, Ty kind of went to work and brought it back. It was really close. Uh, well, it seems pretty far, but it was twenty three to twenty nine. It felt like much further than that. Maybe at the beginning of the second half, it was. Now just came back and brought it back, but then at some point. Our boy just went to work. Player of the week. Wait. Carlo went to work. I didn't really. Well, I didn't really get to see too much because I was. I was locked into your game. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I mean, I saw that they had a lead, so I stopped watching. I really did not watch. Oh, 18.6 for eight. Yeah, no, well, he was. That's hurt. not cold. There were a couple things offensively well, for Romla. And he's player of the week. 
Yeah, right? no, that's him. That's him. A couple things that went well for Romano offensively, especially in that second half, was one, maybe three or four of those Omar Mana buckets that he made were somehow in transition wide open. He just he was just there, outlet, and he was there. No, Omar Mana was somehow on the other side of the court, outlet, wide open on the hoop. Yeah. And then Khaled, yeah, Khaled really just turned it on, hit the three big threes, and had his 18 points. So, and then, and then Omla, they might be three. If, if we were one and two in the def- defensive stats, they might be. Yeah. yeah, literally. They're third in points allowed. So they are also a great defensive team. So yeah. they kept tied to 39, and literally no one else, almost no one else. Mido had six, Kabar had four, four and Mohamed had two. Yeah, bro, like, haram, bro, what's going on Bro, that's such a disgusting here, bro. stat haram. sheet, bro. Oh, 27, God. and then after that, six points, two points, zero points. What are we doing? You know what my problem is, is, like, bro, those shots are all open. Like, I got, these guys aren't shooting contested. You're not shooting with anybody near you is the problem. Well, I mean, only took three shots. Imagine I don't know what's only going took on. Six shots. It looked like this was a game that I'm going to, like, they felt comfortable winning from the start of the game, and it felt like they kind of... Was taking it easy at the start, and then they just did enough to like make it a 10 12 point game. They're like, let's get this game over with. That's what it feels like. Yeah, even tie, like, yeah, 27 points, but it took him 26 shots, which is really fine. But like, even him, that's relatively a pedestrian game for him. I don't know, bro. Bro, this has been the story of the season. Nablus, well, we called him Ty Jackson. Like, he needs more than just tie to have 27 points. Like, what did Meet the Zubi end up averaging this year? 10 points, 36% shooting, 28% from three. Yeah, bro, that's not going to cut it. Especially last season, you showed some flashes of you, like, being potential. 11, 12 points, you were averaging on 46%. Good shooting, better three-point shooting. We expect a little bit more from you. And Maddox, zero points in a playoff game is a killer. Like, Maddox had 16 last game. Yeah, he was. Six yeah, zero. had a couple of good games. games. Oh, yeah, they played a good team. Yeah, yeah, they had a couple of good games, yeah. But, like, if other than Ty, everybody is shooting under 40% from the field. Bro, he had 27 of the 39. Like, if you put it that way. Yeah, bro. Like, okay, the season was, looked okay, but you could tell. But honestly, like, like we kind of saw this coming. Well, I mean, I don't know about the pedestrian stat line, the stat, stat lines from everyone else on the team, but I'm just saying in general, Romana being the defensive team that they are and just with the offensive power they have, with even though Shazade didn't put up anything, Khaled was like, you know what? It's my turn. Khaled's been taken so, over, though, in the big games. Yeah, that's him, bro. That's but I will bro. say this, uh, the Hassan Farhad taking 17 shots and having 15 points, like, eventually, I think this is going to come back to haunt them. Like, you can't just keep shooting. He did that against us. Like, look, 35% from the field f- on the season. Like, you know, every game he shoots, he shoots more like, points. You can't than just score. keep he shooting 5 for 15 score. and have every 14 game, points. Every game. Every game. Every game. <laughs> I remember he did something crazy against us shooting wise. What did he do against us? Yeah, three for sixteen, nine points. I should bro, yeah, five for twelve, twelve points. Hold on, I actually want to see the average. I want to see the average uh, points versus. So twelve point eight. Yeah, he does. Bro, he averaged more points than he does points. No, no, seriously, he's got to make better shot selection and just attack the basket. He shoots seven threes a game. Yeah. Which we like. We know you're one of the best shooters on the team, but. You know, just to switch it up a little bit, get to the basket a little. You and Mana down there would be a handful for anybody in the league. So, yeah, well, almost anyone. Almost anybody. Almost. We know. We know who we're talking about. There's the dark side over there. It's you know, cold the dark down, side. Bro. <laughs> yeah, very dark actually. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna fake. You guys know when LeBron lost and he came out with the cast. That's what it is. No. Don't come, don't. Me. <laughs> that was the craziest thing ever. Yeah. Almost said, this is the reason I lost. I was playing with a broken hand the whole time. <laughs> God, I missed Fedge. Stop spoiling. Stop spoiling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Third well, game. Well, well, hold up. I don't have a good job moving on. Ty Jackson, welcome to the league. We would love to Ty have Jackson, you Ty Jackson, MVP, rookie of the year. <laughs> probably best player to ever touch the MB core. Please, brother. Come no, back. But on a serious note, now this. But thank you guys. Good, job, job, bro. Good season, bro. Six Matt, and three. Well, hold up. We have to give Maddox Zombie the props for finally getting a win. 
Oh, no one found him. winning season too. Yeah, winning season. This is this is wow, you. Ah, first time in years. Maybe he gets the captain. Maybe he gets the captain spot in again. The draft. In the draft. I'll maybe. talk to my sources. By the way, I heard. So this might not be bad. I heard on the zombie, his brother's coming back. I don't know if that's. I, I've been seeing some clips. So maybe we shouldn't let Malik because we know that's we know first it. overall pick. Wait, yeah. first overall oh, pick. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, that <laughs> season. Wow. Yeah. Had the first. Who did he? He had the option to take the first pick. He had the option to like get Bush one or something. No, he had the option to take Abdul Hadi that season. Oh yeah. First. <laughs> and then he, took, yeah. he went seven for the... The, the back-to-back yeah. fix. Who did he take? He took his brother and <laughs> Raza. Raza. <laughs> I'm not going to count him, bro. Right. I ain't the very the third, the third game. All right, third game of last <laughs> one day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I didn't know it hasn't seen under the winning by this much. Bro. I didn't know we under the winning by this much. Either. I mean, I know why. That's, yeah. that's yeah. That's straight yeah, though. I think it's even better than I too, so did I, but I'll say it then. Uh, okay, I could have swore it was like a seven point game with like five minutes left, and then I guess like. Just, you're capping. You're capping. Seven points with five minutes left, you're capping. Like 15 minutes left, maybe at some point. Bro, that was like a point where stop, like stop, Singer stop. and uh, John hit like two shots, and they were just like on the rim, but and they just kept dropping. I feel no, like no, they, they cut made it to some like, garbage. It got me so I feel bad. like they cut it to like nine, maybe five. I'm oh, tripping. remember, Mahrouz got teed out. In like yeah, yeah I'm going to talk about that. But even without Mahrouz, like, I'm just trying to remember. It was close. Yeah. So I'm, sh- I'm just shocked that it ended up being up by 25. But, you know, man, he had to get his stats up as usual. But, but um, he's such a ball hog, bro. <laughs> bro, well, he's a ball hog. Okay, yeah. To start the game off, uh, Gaza started relatively slow. Even Bethlehem started slow, but eventually they picked it up. And the game ended up being like 20 to 9 or 22 to 9. And then I think that's when Mahrouz got teched out, the two the two techs, right? 22 to 9? The score was around there. Like, I vividly remember it was around that point. They were, you guys were up 10, 13. If you want to talk about the start of the game, I don't really remember what happened at the start of the game. Well, I don't remember what happened at the start of the game either. I just know we were, we were winning. And then, I just come back and we, I mean, they weren't getting cooked. Yeah, I mean, they were playing. It was no, they scoring, weren't. It was, yeah, like it was like 10, yeah. 8, 12. 11, like it yeah. There. It was there, yeah. yeah. And then, I don't know, you know, Mahrouz was complaining about something. I forgot. And then he gets the tech. So like I right, bro, he gets one like he's gonna calm down. But like thirty seconds later, Walla like dog, he, it was me. So I blocked him, and he falls to the ground. Well, I blocked him. No, I'm no, saying yeah. yeah. Why are you looking at me like no, that? No, I'm saying yeah. yeah. Oh, we I'm believe saying, you. Good job. We believe you. Go watch it back. You're looking that way. We believe you. We believe you. Blocked him. <laughs> but, but actually, say what happened in Texas, bro. Come on, bro. Please. Uh, it's a very good barbecue. Please, bro. please. <laughs> So, he goes and he falls to the ground, and this is like, well, maybe a minute and a half after he just he just got tech. He just yeah. got tech. He just got tech, and he curses so blatantly, oh, and so blatantly. And Walla Alim, I stayed quiet. Like I didn't want I didn't want him to get teed out. Yeah, Walla I didn't. I was sitting there and I was like, I just looked at the ref. I was like, if he said it, I was like, and that goes. Like that, and then, yeah, and then he got he got to be fair, the rest Wale, they were bringing all the teams together before the games. They said it. They were like, we're gonna guys, be very like, strict. We're gonna enforce. Please, like, like don't make on, us, bro. don't like force our hands and making calls. Like we don't want to affect the game, but like, kind of did what they had to do, unfortunately. And then from that point on, it was kind of an uphill battle. Credit to them, they did cut it a little bit, and uh, John hit a couple shots, and Sindra hit a couple shots, and it did get to like a nine, eleven point game. But it was generally like they were in command the whole time. Yeah. Like, I don't think we went down. Yeah. Hassan hit a couple threes. Mehdi had like a nice spin move three. He went on like a little 7 0 run. Amy? Three ball again. Water. He's actually him. Water. Oh my Water. God. Cool guy. You know, you know him. His family was there. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Six rebounds, four steals. He had four steals. What the hell? That's what it says. <laughs> Watch out, Ben. Legacy performance. Wow, one for five, oh for four, two points. More personal fouls than points. Get better, bro. <laughs> wow, that's Jaime esque right there. Wow, bro. You know, I actually went to the Y the other day. Ahmed was there. But he's he was, so bad at basketball. He was practicing bro. intentional fouls. He was like on the on the <laughs> on the chair. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine you walk into a gym and just see someone practicing intentional you know, fouls. You know the legend of Moose practicing the screens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Him and Ahmed in the same gym. Bro, oh. what bothers me is Ahmed is so Harder, huh? bad at basketball, bro. He's so bad, but he actually, like, he actually plays the sport. More personal foul than points. <laughs> bro, he actually plays the sport. Like, he'll go to the Y, he'll go get shots up, bro. 
he'll do this. He'll think about the game. He'll analyze it. And he just sucks. <laughs> like, like this, okay. bro. Like yeah. so bad. To be fair to him, I'll say one thing: he doesn't lose confidence. Wallah, he doesn't. <laughs> We were talking about I mean, it. That's a skill. That's a skill. Walla, we were talking that's about it. No, no. You should hear what he says, bro. Bro, while I think we were chilling and we're like, yo, Walla, like, I aspire to have the confidence Ahmed has. Ahmed. Bro, Ahmed's coming in and we're chilling. He's like, like this. he goes, Walla, I'll never forget the round before this, the round right, right before we played this. Walla, he's talking. Because we were like, oh, like, you know, if I'm going to team loses, like, we're going to see uh, Sabra so, win. Yes. I'm not worried. I'm not, I'm not worried about that, bro. Bro, we, we can beat them, bro. We eat, bro, trust me, like, you're overthinking. You know what he was telling me? Shut the hell up, bro. He was telling me, he goes, bro, I, this is probably what it was. He's like, yo, honestly, I just don't want to first you, bro. He goes, I just don't want to have to change you. <laughs> so I think it's just being fast. Bro, he's talking I know, about... probably what it is, Addison. Bro, the whole... No, no. I don't know about Ahmed, but the whole team wanted to play you guys. The whole team. I want to play the whole team. He me, Bro, it's his dream. He stays awake at night. He goes... I just want to play him. Because he thinks you suck at basketball. <laughs> he thinks you're garbage. He goes, bro, his game uh, is not he good. Me. He was top one hater of Omar. Like, if you think he I can see Omar, he was top one I hater. I was up there, too. Oh, yeah, all of them. And then they're like, yo, we want to play them so badly, bro. I was saying that I was a guy, bro. You, I don't really care who we play, but I didn't want to play. I definitely didn't want to play who we Before we keep talking, we got to talk about, well, Sahway legacy performance every, all around. Bro, this is, well, let me just, before I we start. I thought Amamazuz had them good before the game. Yes. Well, they had the Amamazuz seeker stuff. Yeah, whatever it was, bro. Bro, Matt, he hasn't had three straight threes, bro. Maddie has the ball. He has him wide open on his right. Maddie shoots the basketball. After he just made three in a row. Bro, I'm his kid's ball hawk stat pattern, bro. Asshole. bro he's, no, he's an asshole. He's That's asshole. what he is. <laughs> what well, I think? Mean, so no. And you know what else? You know what else? I was under the rim wide open and for the layup. You know what? So he had two better you know options. with that after he misses? He's like this. He's like this. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm but I do want to say I will confidently say if Almud and Yezan or Almud and someone else has like eight and eight or eight and nine or eight and seven, Bethlehem will most likely be in any single game, barring the one they play next game. But, <laughs> bro, like it's got the story of the season is I Bethlehem to is tell you really tough to score. Tell on. me you saw who's the greatest fast break player? Do you know the greatest fast? He's on my team. Greatest, bro, fast break, just give him the basketball. Go. No. Did, did you, re, were you really locked into the game? Dovi. Kind of had a high. Remember. Remember, at this point. remember. Wide open on the fast breaks. Wide open layups. Who are you trusting? But wide open layup, he airball. <laughs> maybe he was going to Bro, there was so maybe, maybe he, was he got a steal, <laughs> and he goes, and he commits an offensive foul on a fast break. Before he goes off Maybe. for the layup. God, he's dribbling. Soon as on his right. Like that. <laughs> Misses the There's another one. Bro, he goes up. Walla hits straight back for him. Bro, it's like a laser. Maybe he's going for the lob. Bro, I don't know what the hell he's going for. That's what bro. It was. He's, he's so garbage, he... bro. He's bro, so Gub, garbage. three for three. And he caught like a mini alley from Ahmed, which is kind of funny. And he hit a three. Gub's actually been the... Ever since, ever since he started... Ever since I called him bad, he's been playing well. He's been the third most consistent player on the Bro, team. Bro, he's the backbone of the team. He does a lot on yeah, defense. He does a good amount on offense. I'm going to tell team. you when he started picking up. It was 124. 11, 11 and 6. Yeah, exactly. 11 and 6. No, but... And, and the stats is wrong. He had 15 that game. They yeah, missed the three. Yeah, the game, too. He missed... He, he, they missed the three in a free throw. So he had yeah. 15 points then. 15, and then he came back 10 double, points. Double, then double, two threes. Double. And the, yeah, no. He's no, been he's doing been, well. He's, he's been, been doing good. well. But the problem is now that we say that, Khalas, it's, it's done. No, That's no, the no. problem. That's why you don't want to say that. Yeah. Because it's done. Now reverse he can't it, play good. It, okay. And you suck on him. No, does suck too, though. He's garbage. He doesn't just... What's it called? I'm just a constant professional, bro. Whenever you need him, I'll take care of business at two to three threes. Yep. You know what I told him, actually? No, I'm not even joking. So we go and we start off the game, and so I, they're leaving them wide open, like they're just double teaming me and wide open. So I give it to him, and he misses the first two, the consecutive, both wide open, nobody near him, bricks him. So we go to the huddle, and I was like, he was talking, was like, yo, Hassan, like, yo, keep hitting me, bro. Like, like keep hitting me. Where I, got, I was like, all right. I was like, yeah, he's going to keep hitting me on the hit. I go, all right, you get one more. I'm not passing it to you after. If you miss one more, what else I told him in the huddle? I was like, I, even if you're wide open, I'm shooting the over the double, I don't care. And he goes, ah. what? He didn't miss after that. Wallah, I didn't make that story up. Wallah, that's real. Go ask him. 
I was literally like, yo, you, you, one more you get, and I'm not passing it to you. And he goes, I got you. Well, look. Bro, we were just talking about that, too. Bro, go, hold on. Show him, show him, show him. No, no, well, don't say it, no. Tell me what stands out to you in this statue right here. Tell me what stands out. But you, you know what I'm trying to hide. Eight <laughs> percent. What does that mean on the season? Eight percent. I mean, there's two for twenty-five on the season. Eight percent. No, no, but I want you to go look at the team, bro. But you want to be enlightened? But you think Alf Alf is your best half? Alf Alf is Toby. But look at this. Look at the next one. Look at the next one. All right, pick somebody. Randomize. Go. Yeah, but uh, okay, good. No, he doesn't count. Eleven percent. Pick somebody else. Yeah, the actually not that bad. good shooter. Thirty-four. That's not. See, that, this is legit. He, he needs some more minutes. This is what this looks that's like. Right? Give me how much. Go is twenty-six. Ah, twenty-seven. Okay. Oh my bad. Yeah. My apologies. What's happening? I'm like 36. Hello, you can do this. 36. Right. Right. You need to go to the team and put team stats. But you gotta understand, though, I'm shooting straight off the dribble, bro. It's harder. Tell me now. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Basically, the story of the season has been Methlehem plays very, very good defense and they're tough to score, and then Hassan Mehdi do enough to get them over the hump. And obviously, Almar Yezen and Emil played amazing this game, and it was an uphill battle because Mahrez was teed out. Uh, that's basically the story of the game. I mean, Hassan, for what it's worth, I mean, you guys. Tried to make it work with what you got. Let's not forget they had they had Capone, Capone. Yeah. and with Capone, they were a championship lost, team. Yeah. Like they're a championship team, and it's scary. So. Yeah, yeah. Capone tried. He tried to yeah, that's coach. All. That's all. He's not like OG. That's all. He thinks he's he not. Like he OG. not like the OG. He's not. He's not. Like he's not. He's not. OG Capone he's not. in the Hall of Fame. All time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Hall of Fame. Yeah, 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 yeah. And shout out K nine legacy performance. Wow. <laughs> that is, bro. He clearly he didn't he didn't come with the cut, did he? No. For you. Word on the street is he grabbed that rebound over you. That one rebound. Oh, yeah, it was. That's what it was. I could have, but I can't jump with it. You know what I'm saying? You know, bro. And he came out long sleeve, too. Yeah, yeah. Drake Mehdi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I seen him working on that step back three in warm-ups. Mm. What are you going to do? Yeah, bro, great season to Gaza. I mean, there was a lot of up and downs this season for them, but they came out, like, after playoffs, and they came out, looked like they figured out, they figured out what they were doing. And just the unfortunate that Mahrez got double teched up and we couldn't see like them at full strength against Bethlehem but it was a great season for them Sinjar Mahrouz uh, Mo Dirty has potential uh, most improved player said man was great yeah very good the season good, the good thing about the good thing about the, this team is that like it doesn't hurt too much to say good season like oh the season ends because you know they're going to come back next season somehow in the draft it's going to be the same thing same, same, same exact thing literally the same roster <laughs> take a picture <laughs> copy and paste it somehow my house is already working on it in quick check yeah well they were because yo you think like think there's a way us and could be on the same team <laughs> brother I don't know brother the thing is KE9 even if there's 12 player he's 13th round pick he's going there yeah. You already know I'm on Kareem, bro. This is gonna be on the same team. Nobody <laughs> even be strategic to take Kareem in front of Amman. Yeah, that's messed up. That's like I am right now. Yeah, it is. I no, I don't know. Bonnie and Clyde. At the end. All right, final game of last week, and to sum it up, this is what happened. Show you. This is what happened. Why is that? What we didn't know. What we didn't know was that my hand was broken the entire time. Wow, you dog. Wow. That was messed up. Wow, wow, you dog. Wow, what, we, what we didn't know is that my head was broken in. Let's see the stat line. 3 for 13 from 3. Oh, this explains it. Yeah, All right. yeah, so, that never would have happened. It's, I, just, it's that typical Abbasi choke job. This is what I'm going to say. I found out Suf didn't take any pre-workout for the game. Uh, Mistake number one. Uh, he didn't even Mistake tell number me. One. What are we he didn't even check one? in, bro. He didn't even check in. Wow. They didn't have any passion. You know, you know what it is? You know what, what bothers me? You know what, you know what kills me? Bro, Suf literally goes up to... Bro, but this is how much of like... Um, uh, what's the word? Like, yeah, they, they treat Omar like this, yeah, a little baby, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, and did you eat food today? Yeah, yeah, Water, yeah. you know, <laughs> towel. He goes, yeah, oh, yeah, please, like, are you okay? good? Yeah. Bro, yeah, yeah. oh, Sufley goes up to me, goes, bro, oh, my, my bad, bro, did you? Because he set him up and gave him, like, a private gym to shoot, like, 500 shots or whatever. Well, did I miss you up giving me those 500 shots? Mm. That, that's honestly on me, bro. Was, I'm sorry. He was tired. Bro, I'm listening. I was like, bro, I'm like, yeah, garbage at that. <laughs> you are I horrific, guys. Excuses. You are horrific, guys. Excuses. I couldn't believe I my hands were excuses. super sad. I did not make excuses. I was like, like, oh, my, did I miss you up, bro? Was it me that, because I gave it? Changed with the science. Bro, I was like, so please, stop talking. Listen, 
Suf, if you want to mess me up and give me 500 shots open rented right gym, I'm more than happy to do it. So if, do not offer me 500 shots. I'm not doing 500 shots. But. Oh, there. Uh, Amir Charkis looks like he left his jump shot on the cruise. Five for 17. Five for 10 from three. Five for 10 from three. Fantastic. <laughs> but. All the four from the line. Well, that's talent right there. That's right. That's right. Hassan Jean right there. You're stupid. You're stupid. You're so stupid. You're so stupid. Hold on. You're so stupid. He better shoot than Hassan. Hassan's 66. Am I actually 66? I just checked right now. I think I am 66. What is he? What is he? 67. You're my heart. I'm a dope freak, bro. Wait, Hassan. I'm saying right now. Yes. Yeah, like, he's so lucky because I'll be playing on the court with more air conditioning in hand at the angle yeah, yeah. that I'm yeah, shooting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the yeah, problem. Yeah. And, bro, he's, he's corny as hell. Got 500 shots a day. I don't shoot 500 shots a day. But, uh, I think the story of this game was Sobra had a very good defensive game plan against you guys. They... They took away your. They took away your three. I'll tell you what it is, man. I said this to maybe everyone in the gym after the game. They started off. We started off with the defensive game plan. It wasn't a perfect defensive game plan. I'll be the first to admit. But Raza point was, legacy. Raza came out and hit, was hitting shots. Seven for eight, eighteen points. So we had to adjust. One. We had to adjust, and they started off early. We started off slow. So now for the rest of the game, we're trying to climb back out of this hole. But Pete and Raza and Musty and. Austin are just not making it easy. They're all shot way over 50%. I'm not going to lie. It could have been co-player of the week. Missing one shot is crazy. Yeah, seriously. So they just did not make it easy to come back. So we're trying to dig ourselves out of this hole. And so now I'm like, all right, it's time to start shooting some threes. And so let's try and get get this run back. And like me being the, the volume shooter that I am, I'm like, all right, it's time to start doing that. I get one screen. Momo is face guarding me. I could get one screen. And yeah, a lot. Pete Brown or, or Austin right in front of my face. I got maybe got blocked from the three, like three or four times. I'm not even joking. And, and two of them were. Bro, they did it such smacked. a good job. They destroyed it. Like, they did such a good they job. Really did. They really Ahmad did. Ahmad was coming off of screens, and Austin would hedge the screen, take away Ahmad's three, and force him to drive or kick to the roller, and then the roller would go into Pete Brown. This is the thing. So bro. there was this no is chance. The thing. Yeah. Jokes aside, though, this is where it comes to evolving your game. No, so I saw him out. No, but that's so that these are the two. You gotta do, bro. So that was, if that, that was just coming up the agree. screen. I, no, saw I him agree. Out, bro. One, one of the things. Well, if I see, if I call for a screen and the person switching on me, I was awesome. I won't go that side. No, that's come thing. back this side. I'm just so. I'm <laughs> bro, you gotta lie. get away from that I'm side. Not even lie. I'm not even gonna lie. I was low IQ in the game. I should have been vocal about this because, just like I, I'm open. just so used to getting the screen that I just didn't even. You gotta tell them all. Yeah. So so at some point I should have just realized. Wait, I'm like I'd rather just take Musty, and. And try to deal with that. that it's better than, than, the than, yes, than him than the guarding screen. you. Yeah. Every every yeah. any shot you take that he's not guarding is better than but, when he would. But guard. had we had we not had gone down the way that we did, the screen was perfect because I would get I would split the screen every time. I'd get in between Musty and P or Austin, and I would have an open mid range every time, and I hit them when I when I had the chance. But it just it wasn't worth those mid range where there was no value. They no started chance. off the game already down like eight nine zero. Yeah, and it was uphill battle from there. And then like at the end of the day, Subra is just like. Austin and PR are just too much to handle. Bro. The thing is, is they, they, they can make mistakes because the other one will just clean it up. So even yeah. if you shoot a bad shot, you'll get, you'll get two possessions. 23 and 11, 9 for 14. Pete Brown, 6 for 7, 16 points, 14 rebounds. Raza, 18. You're not going to win if Sabra has four guys Dude, in double Seriously, mashallah, bro. You guys killed Almost me, Almost three, 3 for 6, 4 for 7 from the field. Like, they all played very, very well. And, they, yeah, Abbasi's just... They do that, they do that, and we're like, we have to guard. Like, and then you have... We have to guard those two big guys. So, like, you have Mustafa, who is our best defender, trying to guard Austin the entire game. That drains him. They, like, it's not easy for him to and shoot And you're just that. under, man, bro. You can't have Mustafa and Khalid, both 5'10", 5'11". Yeah. They're guarding 6'7", and 6'8". Yeah. 6'6", yeah. six, six and 6'7", whatever the size difference is. And the reason we picked that Quds had a chance was because of the three-point shot. But if Ahmad and Mustafa combined for five threes made, but it's such a small game a plan on Subra's part. So smart. So, so smart. Because I didn't think about that. I, would, I didn't think about that. They literally was like, okay, you can have all the twos you want. Just no threes. Because you're not going to beat this team scoring twos. Nope. So if they're not, they go in every game plan. We're going to limit the three. It's going to be but very tough to beat them. That's Master Weiss. Well, that's so smart, bro. I didn't think of that. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think of that. You just they, don't let every. You, you let them shoot everything but, but a three. All four of them took away the three, and they're like going you know to the ground and figure it out. You know what? You're, I had thought about this throughout the last week, and you just reminded me. Remember when you said last week, the issue is we... We really have a chance of winning because this team is not the type of team to game plan. Yeah. They came they game plan. Yeah. They, they came with the plan. This is what happened. 
No soup pre workout, bro. That yeah. Takes a toll. Yeah. No passion on the coaching side. Because you know what I saw? Yeah, Bassy coach. Say no more, bro. Did I have go to Soup sitting. <laughs> you put yourself in this box with that. You just put yourself in this. Did I have ever won a ring? Did I have know about losing? Jeez. He know about losing. Bro, this is the problem, Bilal. You gotta, like... It's... Like, Hollis, you're, like, the old. Suf is, like... New. He's the new. He's up and coming. <laughs> you look at him. No, and you look at him and you think. You look at him and you think. You look at Soup for like, wow, this guy's like twenty years old. Soup's like, still nineteen. He, he, I'm saying. Still, I'm saying, bro. So when Soup, of the year. that's what I'm saying. But he has the knowledge. Yeah, yeah. The the yeah, yeah. the ilm, yeah, yeah. as we say. Bro, so you gotta just listen. But Bilal is the problem. You know his problem is, is you know, these commissioners, but they think. Too stuck on the old ways. You know, Stuck on the old ways, yeah, you gotta learn from your mistakes. That's why you study history. Because why? History repeats itself. Wow, we need to put that on. Oh, it's a lot of bro. I'm saying, bro. <laughs> just soon, please, Yanni. Do better, man. I mean, honestly, without a doubt, this team, Sobro, was easily the better team on Wednesday. Do I think if we we could get the game back? If you play who, 10 who times, you do? can beat them once. I think we could beat them once. I know there's one guy that's Six happy that they lost. Time. Khalid is so happy he doesn't have to drive on Wednesday. That's true. That's true. That is true. for coming to the last five games of the season. <laughs> oh, like, back to back to back to back. Too much. 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 By the way, the day, just this is for Sabra. The game did get a little chippy at some point. By no means was we weren't trying to make it chippy or anything like that. I know it might have seen that who way, got, but who got chippy with them? What were you were talking? Nope. Who the hell got no, chippy with them? No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Not, who got chippy with them? Not doing that. Well, it's very low IQ whoever got you doing that. So, Al Quds, extremely yeah. low IQ. Applaud it for Al Quds. Applaud for Al Quds. Thank you. Shout out to him. So, please be a captain next season. Please, Suf, so, please. Please. It was, shout out, so. it was the hand. And shout out Malik, Gene, and uh, Khalil, and the rest of the team. Man. Great season, bro. Okay. All right. Um, and those only four. Now the yep, this is the one through four, right? Final four. First, yes, this is one through yes. four season, right? Fun fact. The one through four have made it. But bro, you know, the elites came out on top. Each team, seven and two. Look, man, I just know everybody was down on our team, bro. All season, bro. All season, bro. They don't got enough. They By the way, win I'm sorry. Game. I'm sorry. And this is all, we're not cheating. Straight our boys. Straight 8% from three. Straight, straight garbage. <laughs> straight no, we play with strictly our boys. Nobody else. Yeah. There's no added, just strictly people I see. Outside of basketball. But we locked in, bro. All right. Well, no, no, no. Where's the game next week? Beta versus Ramla. You know Banger. What, you know what happens when I guard Chelsea. He, <laughs> he hasn't lived it down since that day. Still having Banger. nightmares. Banger. The last time you guys played was over a year ago, right? Yeah, that day that we played. In the thing. Yeah. And the, the draft season for everybody that was. Uh, Honestly, Amir. either team here could take it. Uh, we're, missing, don't have Amir Hassan. we're missing Amir Hassan because he's in Amra and they're missing Elias because he's in Amra. But you know what's better than Amir? But it's Amra, so. Amir Hassan's the hat. And. In the cap. Wait, wait. That was and so you're gonna, Amra's not even locked in right now. You know who started. Straight passion. Straight playoff, Suki. Wow. Passion. So who's, who, so you're eliminating Saudi. So first try, it's a final. So, so, I'll so, see you there, bro. So, so I'll see who's, you there, bro. So you texted me. He said, You want me to mana or Khaled or you want me to get both? I was like. So, 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 I have a question. So, if Elias and Amir Hassan both make the act to win, who's the act against them? I'm saying. Do they cancel out? Is that the science of it? But you know, you know what I'm thinking? I don't know. Who last I don't know either. I think, no, no, no. Whoever, whoever's more religious in real life. No, no. But, but, so but overall. How do we know? But it's like. God knows. Oh, this, God knows. So whoever wins. Whoever wins know, is more. We know. The other one, don't be praying. <laughs> He'll be praying for real. <laughs> He'll be praying, bro. He just be coming, no one do. Just like one of these. One of these, bro. One of these. Check out. He's right, he's one of these in the salah. He's one of yeah, these yeah. in the salah. Trade yoga. Yoga. <laughs> he's yeah, just looking yeah. like this yeah, in the salah. Yeah. <laughs> but, Man, just don't lose, bro. Or whoever dies is longer. So I think Elias is caving. He wants food. I think Either way, we can Or the steroid injection out. times. I mean, it'll last it out. Yeah, yeah, I, need, I need. Hey, uh, is there a juicy platter just next to the Kaaba? Wow. Elias is down bad like that. Yep. He won't see the Kaaba if he hears the juicy platter. Yeah, turn around. Yeah, turn around. Can't be for that. <laughs> his ahram is gonna be his ahram is gonna be covered in hot sauce. But yeah. Or, or lose it. Can ATV. Just FYI. Can ATV. Yo, you ain't there, bro. Can we? We were chilling. We were chilling at 
Uh, somebody's crib, bro, and Elias is with us on the silver ball, and one of Elias is talking about, yeah, bro, yo, I'm honestly down. Like, like we're gonna look and we're gonna like do ATVs while Kadwar and and Mac. Okay, my prediction. I'll be it. He was trolling. He was trolling. He was trolling. Well, I looked at him. Well, I looked at him like this, cause I was like doing homework. When I was like this, what did you just say, bro? He goes. Yeah, bro, I had the ATVs. I'm back. Right, just so you know, Elias, I don't know if this is your first time. Bro, no, I saw it, bro. I don't, I don't know if this is your first time in Mecca. Bro, no, I was this crying. Is your first time in Mecca, just FYI, there's literally nothing to do about pray in Mecca. Bro, I was crying. In all seriousness, in all seriousness, inshallah, what's it called? I made it in the ass. It's like the most of Javid. They have an amazing experience. Allah is qabbal minkum. And obviously, anybody hopes for that opportunity. Yo, I hope you, yeah, I know. We already told the guys to make that really right. Locked in, locked in, locked in. Wait, you need to call it me too. Phone number. Yes, is the one that's faking it too. We asked the wrong person, huh? Should ask asked both of them. Because now one of them. Asked they're them. locked in right now, though. Alhamdulillah, mashallah alaykum. We all uh, aspire to be I think there. they're on the voyage for the Black Stone as we speak right yes. now. So. Fighting. I think I'm going to ask you. I they're promise fighting you, there, getting, we're getting, fighting getting to touch on that is harder than like... It really is. But it's impossible. Yeah, it really is. I'm saying really you thought, well, what I saw people get trampled. Yeah. I thought Austin was bad off the screen. No. Yeah, right. Do I not do it? Something something the screen's yeah. next to the Blackstone crazy. But, yeah, uh, you guys give me your, your prediction. Look, I'm, I'm going to go Ram less so. because I think Amir affects the game more than Elias affects the game. I love Elias, but I'd beat him without Amir hurts more than Ram oh, without Elias. No, the defense would have been bad. So, uh, I'm going to go Ram by like five. Ah. Uh. I got to get a buy one, even though I said like two weeks ago, Ramla is the favorite to win, in so, my opinion. But Shoei, the upset. That's what I'm three in the corner? Yeah, to win okay. That makes sense. That, that, that makes sense right there. I just think you guys have like enough offense, like just starting pieces. Is Muhammad coming? This yeah, is huge. Muhammad? No, I don't think so. But I did hear that. Also, but guys are checking in. Is that screens? He said, man, uh, get ready for the box. Oh my God. Yeah, I got to beat up for those reasons right there. Moose said he's boxing out mana from the other side. <laughs> he's starting to box him out from offense. That's what he told yeah, me. I think, I think you guys have it, uh, what it takes. The, the, it's going to be fun. The personnel. Really fun. The There's personnel always, you know, like the Shazay well. versus me and Shafiq, and then you got Hassan and Amir Koyas, and then Num Num and mana. It'll be, it'll be a fun it'll game. Be very it'll fun be a fun game. game. It'll be very fun game. There'll be some talking involved. It'll be, it'll yeah. be enjoyable. The ratings. It's good All right. Ratings. Okay, and yeah, that's the podcast, uh, Shabab. The podcast, we'll see you guys maybe. next week, inshallah. Please like the video, subscribe. Any updates, anything you need. Just Any prayers for Bethlehem? I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. There's one way. <laughs> there's one way. There's one way, Bethlehem. We're work. finished. Hassan and Joe Capone. He just, they switch spots. They switch names and everything. Joe Capone goes in as Hassan Shabab. And they change the name to Granada. Maybe Trey right? Durek to not show off his hair. Mm. So they won't when they can't tell. Ten threes. Ten threes won't be enough. It was last time. One of them, not both. <laughs> there was one black guy. That's that true. That's true. <laughs> Dog, I don't know what we're about to do, bro. Bro, I swear we're cooked. Don't get me wrong. Well, I'm gonna try my hardest. Love so, so is this don't the, get. I so will try. The first prediction that you're gonna have. No, no, I'm not predicting. No, I'm gonna predict us. But you know, game, Hassan. They always have to put. Hassan always has to slay the dragon. RGD. Musa. Uh, I mean, not Musa. Wednesday, B. Brown. Bro, all Austin. I'm saying Hasn't is, I, bro, I have LeBron. to. I asked, I asked, bro, I just forget dog. Can I ask yeah, dog? Yeah, dog. Play all, all the good black guys that play Austin, in the league. Austin playing play. pro right now. <laughs> Any. All the good, all the good black guys. Hassan was playing ping pong with me. <laughs> Austin's getting up shots. <laughs> Got in Canada. <laughs> but I can't make a left hand layup. I can't make a left hand layup. Uh, but, um, oh, okay. well, they're going to have to hit a lot of threes And they're going to have to run And they're going to have to hope Austin and Pete Brown don't run back Bro, I told no, them I'll tell you what it is bro. They, just oh, have hope, hope. they just have to hope Austin and Pete don't show up It's the only way right. Shway slash the tires well, I'm being honest with you Shway slash the tires so La Alec, do you have the address? I don't, personally, unfortunately I can get it for you though Lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in Call in a favor Okay, left hand Lock in, lock in, please, please yeah. Bro, we send Pete Brown a coach, I will pay him. We'll tell him, yo, can you coach us? And we'll send him like an hour away. <laughs> like, yeah, like, that's bro. I'll see you there at 8 30 on Wednesday, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, inshallah. It's a tall task. Heston's going to have to have a really, really good game. Mandy's going to have to have a really, really good game. They're all, supposed, they're all going to have to have an amazing game. And yeah, it's the only way possible. Like, Sabra's going to have to miss shots. 
of it. Hey, they have chance. I got so. Sabra by 15. Yeah, I think Sabra by 15. And 70 17. points. 72 points, specifically. Bet Lahm by 20. <laughs> Stop playing, bro. Ah. Oh. Ah. Well, actually, one more thing before I end, because I have this privilege, I'm going to use it. Um, uh, I do want to say, because my season is over, I'm sorry, dude, because I'm entertaining you guys. Uh, my team, I love playing with you guys. Amir, you're the man. Mustafa, okay. way to play. Love the mentorship. Shout out Jaime. John, thank you. Khalid, thank you for showing up. Souf, you're the man. Playoff Souf. I'll Souf. see you next season, inshallah. Yeah, thank you, Shabab. Right, Damn, no way they have the camera. Nah, I think it went to the right a little bit. Yo, watch, something tells me it's off. <laughs>